Patricia, here's a problem where we use fractions to describe a shaded region. Now often, a fraction represents part of one whole, but a fraction can also represent more than one whole. As we go through this problem, I want you to think about the difference between fractions that represent less than one whole and those that represent more than one whole. Let's go ahead and read over the problem. Write fractions that represent A, the shaded amount, and B, the unshaded amount. The total amount is 2. Since the total amount is 2, each one of these two circles represents one whole. This circle is one whole. And the second circle is also one whole. If I look at just one of these holes, it's cut into one, two, three, four parts. Each hole is cut into four parts. Since each hole is cut into four parts, any one of those parts we're going to call one-fourth. So right here, this piece is one-fourth. This piece is one-fourth. Here's one-fourth. Here's another fourth. The second hole is also cut into four parts. So each one of those parts is a fourth, a fourth of one whole. One fourth here and one fourth here. Now let's describe the shaded portion. In the first hole, there are one, two, three, four fourths shaded. And write that as four fourths. Plus, in the second hole, there's just one fourth shaded. So altogether, shaded, I have four fourths plus one fourth more. That's five fourths shaded. And I can write my answer to part A as five-fourths. There's another way we could look at what the shading describes. Because the entire first hole is shaded, we could have just written one for one hole, plus the one-fourth shaded in the second hole. One plus one-fourth we write as one and one fourth. So I could have also written my answer for part A as one and one fourth. Either five fourths or one and one fourth are acceptable. For the unshaded portion, that consists of these three pieces of the second hole. That's one, two, three-fourths, there's only one way to write that answer. Three-fourths is less than one whole. It cannot be written in a different way. Five-fourths, however, our answer to A, is more than one whole. It can also be written as a mixed numeral, one and one-fourth. Okay, Patricia, now that we're done with the problem, let's think about what our answers have to do with the total amount being 2. Notice that if I add my answer for the shaded region to the answer for the unshaded, I'm adding 5 fourths plus 3 fourths 
I get 8 fourths. And I can reduce that to 4 times 2 over 4. I can cancel 4 above and below. That leaves me with 2 over 1 or 2. This 2 is the same as the 2 referred to in the original problem. It stands for the two whole figures that we've been working with here.